So this is how to make a pillar in Blender. We're going to start by pressing A, then X to delete everything in the scene. Then we're going to shift A to add a cube. Then scale the cube down. And then press Ctrl A to apply the scale. Then add a bevel modifier and adjust the amount until you're happy with the result. Next, copy the cube and then press S to scale it down. Create a cylinder and then press tab to enter edit mode. Add loop cuts using the tool on the left hand side. These will form the details of the base of the pillar. Select the top face and use the bevel tool while scrolling with the middle mouse button to add loop cuts to your bevel. Then, in the properties, choose from one of the presets. Play around with these loop cuts to form the geometry of your pillar. Hold Alt and left mouse click to select the loop of the face and then E to extrude the faces out. Next, copy the base of the pillar to form the top part of the pillar. Leave this beside for now. Go back to the base, select the top face and press E to extrude this up. This will form the centre of the pillar. Add loop cuts to the top and bottom of this central part of the pillar. Then. Hold Alt and select the outside faces. Choose from the Select menu and choose Checker Deselect. This will select every other face. Then, choose the Extrude Along Normals option. Then, Add a subdivision surface modifier. Add more loop cuts to define the geometry at the top and bottom of the central part of the column. Change the level's viewport to 2. Next, rotate the top part of the column into place, which we copied earlier. Also add a subdivision modifier to this and change the levels viewport to 2. Scale and arrange this until you have your desired effect. Apply the modifiers, then use Ctrl J to join the geometry together. Press Tab to enter edit mode, then move the geometry away from its origin point. Then select the spin tool on the left hand side. Change the steps to 5 and then spin the geometry around its origin point, creating an array. Go to Edit, Preferences and enable the Extra Objects add-on in the add-on section. You can then use Shift-A to add a mesh, go down to Extras 
and choose Wall Factory. Select Radial under the Wall Shape option. Deselect the option for Wall Openings. Press Tab A to select everything and select Individual Origins from the Transform Pivot Point options. Then, press S to scale up each brick individually. Then, add another bevel modifier and adjust the amount until you're happy. Then press F3 to search. Search for Randomize and select it. Here, we can play with the values to decide how randomized we want our bricks to be. Play around with these settings and then you're done.